Hey guys, it's Jilla taking weight off. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day to lose weight. I also wanted to announce to you guys that I am doing the Chloe Tang 2022, I think it's called the Weight Loss Challenge. So if you guys want in, definitely come join me. Yes, there's going to be a before and after results. So for the next 28 days, that's what I'm gonna be doing. And this is what I'm eating while I'm doing this challenge, so. Wish me luck. This is my, well, I've done a Chloe Ting challenge before, but that was like an arm challenge. It was never a challenge that she herself has created. So wish me luck on that. But that's what this video is going to be about. I did want to say a huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. You guys know, and you've been around here, you already know my love affair with Built Bars. Literally, you guys, I have, I'm not going to say I've like given up sugar, but this has helped with my sweet tooth so incredibly much. I do not crave anything else that I don't want to put into my body. And it's not because I can't have it, it's because I'm choosing not to eat it. And it just makes me feel so much better. So Built Bars are so amazing. I have a new found love affair with the Coconut Brownie Chunk. This is the best flavor that they've ever made. They redid it and they have the brownie chunks on the bottom or on the top and it's so good. As of today, when I'm filming this, they still have these available. I actually ordered another box because I just went through. I think I have like two left because I eat one of these every single day for a snack. I'm not even kidding. Um, so yeah, Built Bar, they are so delicious and so amazing. So huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. They have, this one in particular has like 150 calories, 15 grams of protein. You cannot beat that. They're great for on the go snacks, all that kind of stuff. And link is going to be down below in the description box for you guys to save 10% off your order. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into breakfast time. I'm gonna show you what I ate this morning for breakfast. So here is my breakfast. I just have a piece of avocado toast topped with egg, some blueberries. And then this is a new thing I've been trying this year and I've been loving it because it really does help me get full and then stay full and also stay hydrated you know water is awesome for the skin and for your body and everything but i will go ahead and before i eat i will drink eight ounces of water and then after i eat i will drink eight ounces of water so by the time i'm done with breakfast i will be at the 16 ounce mark and i started at the 32 ounce mark earlier so um yeah that's awesome uh i didn't film me making this because i'm running out of time this morning but this is just a piece of sourdough bread I mixed half of an avocado with some salsa and some lemon juice, put some salt on top, and then I just mashed that together, put it on top of, <clears throat> excuse me, the toasted sour bread. And then I also topped it with some red chili flakes and some everything with the bagel seasoning and then an over easy egg. And then as you can see, again, I have these delicious blueberries. And that is my breakfast for this morning. This is a breakfast I have really truly been loving. Thank you to everyone that helped me because when I first started making avocado, avocado toast, it was a hot mess because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, when avocados are touchy. So yeah, I'm eating this and I'm gonna enjoy it. And this is also very filling because you have a healthy carb, protein, and then a healthy fat, and then also some fruits, so. This holds me over till about 12 to one. Here is my lunch. I took myself out on a little solo date and it was amazing. This was my salad. This is something I've never had before. The base was Brussels sprouts and then it had fruits and a citrus vinaigrette. And then I added a side of grilled chicken breast on the side and it was really, really good. I'm gonna tell you in the next clip what all was in this salad and what all was supposed to be in this salad. But if you guys wanna see my solo date adventures, make sure you go subscribe to my main channel, Miss Green Eyes. It's linked down below in the description box and you guys can see I'm on this like self-care journey and I'm really focusing hardcore on self-care and also dating myself and learning to love myself and just, you know, if I'm going to be single in this season of my life, I need to learn to embrace it. And I found myself saying, 
these things where like, oh, I want to go eat at this restaurant or, oh, I want to go do this. And when I have a man, I'll do it. And I'm like, no, 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 we're going to do it now. So if you've never taken yourself on a date, I challenge you to do it because it's really empowering and fun and you really truly get to know yourself. And it's a time for you to be completely selfish and do exactly what you want to do eat what you want to eat, go where you want to go. And I really love it. So yeah, this was my lunch. It was incredible. And I just had a side of ice water to drink. Okay. So I just got home from lunch and I showed you guys what I had for lunch, but let me tell you what was on it. Okay. Give me a second. All right. It was an autumn sprout salad and it had sprouts, which the sprouts was kind of like, is it like, you know, like the, the, the grassy kind of sprouts. I was wondering if it was that, but no, it was Brussels sprouts. That was the base. Orange segments, pecans, which honestly, I only had like one pecan. I was kind of disappointed in that. Red onion. I honestly didn't even taste red onion. So it must've been within like the dressing. I also didn't taste any dried apricots. I'm like, what the heck? Okay, this is what was supposed... There was no apple in there either. There was also no cranberries. There was pomegranate seeds, and there was a balsamic glaze, but I don't think that there was any dried apricots. There wasn't any cranberries. There There definitely wasn't any apple, because that's something that I wanted to tell you guys about. And that was another reason why I picked this salad was to tell you guys that I have been eating apple game changer. If you guys, oh my gosh, try an apple in your salad and let me know what you think because it is so freaking good. But what was supposed to be in here, I paid $14 for half of these ingredients. I'm not okay with that. Sprouts, orange segments, pecan, red onion, cranberries, apples, sunflower seeds, citrus, vinaigrette, pomegranate seeds, balsamic glaze, dried apricots, and then I added grilled chicken. There was this pan seared chicken that I really wanted and I should have gotten that. This one was chicken with quinoa, roasted sweet potatoes, shaved Brussels sprouts, pecans, cranberries, lemon cream sauce, and a demi glaze. And then the shrimp and grits sound really good too. But this is definitely going to be like a spot that I go to regularly. This has, this one's a quinoa protein salad, quinoa, kale, kale, avocado, sweet potato, feta, red onion, chickpeas, Caesar. And I'm reading all of this to you guys to tell you that you do not have to be afraid to eat out because I know personally for me, whenever before in the past, when I used to think of eating out, I used to think of fried foods and eat all of the bad things. Like this is your time to treat yourself and eat. No, you can actually go out to eat and eat healthy. And I've been doing it a lot more regularly because of the fact that I am confident in the fact that I'm going to go there and eat something healthy. And like, can we not with the fear? Because that was something that stopped me for so long, like literally for two years, in my life, I was like eating clean and I couldn't eat out because I had to have everything was like clean, clean, clean ingredients, no bad things. And it was just, it was miserable. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, anyways, I had lunch. Um, it was surprisingly very filling. Like I was like, this is not going to fill me up. And I ate it like three hours ago and I'm, I'm still good. I am sipping on, um, some sparkling water right now. So I did want to mention that it does have some calories in it. Let's just say five calories um, because I drank about half of this, but this is a sparkling water and it's like one of those sweetened with sucralose. Sucralose is probably bad for you, isn't it? Is sucralose bad for you? Here's something I found on reference.com. Sucralose, although approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, has been shown in animal studies to reduce healthy gut bacteria, make medications less effective, release toxins into the body and alter the body's response to sugar. Studies performed in 2013 linked sugar substitutes to obesity and heart disease. Wow. (laughs) That's, That's why I took fake sugars out of my diet a long time ago. Thank you. 
Um, okay, so maybe we will not be drinking this anymore. Um, well, I'll finish it because I bought it, but um, I think I might do more of this. This is kind of like more of a, of a, uh, of a LaCroix. Um, but yeah, these have also been helping me too because if you have a sweet tooth, another thing that's been helping me is obviously my built bars, but also tea. Tea has really been helping me to stay away from, you know, if I have a sweet tooth, I will drink some sparkling water out of my fancy wine glass, cheers, or I will drink some like peppermint tea or some, oh my gosh, there's like this dessert tea that's caffeine free because I can't do caffeine and it's like a, um, it's Tezo, that's the brand. I'll link it down below. It's like a glazed lemon loaf. It's so good. Oh my gosh. You don't have to add cream, but I will add cream and it's all right, I'll see you guys for snack. Cheers. So it is snack time. I am in the middle of eating this built Bar and I had to show you guys the inside look at that brownie chunk. Like what? Do I sound weird? I have both of my headphones in, hold on. Like I don't know if I sounded weird or not. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm telling you guys, if you have not tried this flavor, you need to, it is so good you will be blown away at how delicious this is. Um, so I'm eating that, and then I'm also going to eat these two cuties, and I'm also going to, I was already digging into these pistachios, but pistachios, and I am drinking some more sparkling water. So, yeah, that is snack. I will see you guys for dinner time. Yum. It is time for dinner and I'm having a really weird dinner. So don't even like, I'm still working. I'm like waiting for this. What time is it? 7.08. I still have probably about two hours left to work. And then I also have day two of Chloe Ting. So I still have to work out. And it was just a super simple, quick, easy dinner tonight. So this is some split pea soup. I have a video coming up for you guys. I'm going to put it on this channel where I do healthier dump and go crock pot dinner ideas or dinner meals. So look out for that coming soon. Um, but that is really good. It's almost as good as my mom's. <laughs> my mom makes a really good split pea soup. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. And then I wanted something other than that in addition to that and a little more protein as well. So I have this taco meat that I had prepped and then I don't have tortilla chips. So I'm just dipping this with some buffalo, what are these? Like the, the pretzel crisps and they're the buffalo style. Um, and then I have some more sparkling water and then I have my regular water over here. And I'm not sure if this is all I'm going to eat. I'm probably going to have some tea tonight. But, yeah, because I usually don't do dessert. Um, but I'll let you know if I eat something. If I do, I'll maybe have some more pistachios or something. But I'm going to get back to working. Well, actually, there's really nothing to do at this point. Well, I could make a thumbnail. So, yeah, I'm going to work and have a working dinner. And I'll see you guys in a few. Day two. 8.38. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this. We have 20 minutes of hit. And what did I say? Hit and then I think... 10 minutes of core and upper body. Okay, I'm going to stop complaining. We're going to get to working out. Yeah, don't complain. Why did I... Why? Why? should just stuck with dancing. No. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I hate these kind of hey guys, because I just can't remember. 28 days. 28 days. And by the end of the 28 days, you'll be so glad. And you'll be happy you didn't stick to dancing. Mountain, I can't do mountain climbers. I do a modified mountain climber. I hope that she has it all. 28 no jumping exercises it will it just doesn't show until she like starts it no she really doesn't have one i think she will oh. i don't feel my back jumping like my back is like bouncing up and down my back not my butt my back what the heck seriously right here Weird. Now get into a low plank on the box. Ah, See, I can't do these. Dip your hips to the side while keeping your quartz tight. 
Onto a standing plank. Shoulder width apart, and squat down, engaging your glutes and core, then come back up and tap your opposite feet. Alright, I need to have a better attitude. I'm gonna miss you. So I don't know if you heard what I just said, but I said, all right, I need to have a better attitude or I'm going to be miserable this whole workout. And it was in that moment of realization that I completely changed my attitude to do this workout and I started feeling better. Was it intense? Oh my gosh. Yes. Her workouts are no freaking joke. And me being probably, I don't know, I haven't been on the scale since October, but I'm assuming I'm still in the 300s. I mean, I can barely get up and then her workouts are like standing exercise and then floor exercise and then standing. And that for me is a workout in itself. But I wanted to put all of that complaining and all of that in this video to show you guys that you have the power to turn your day around, your workout around, your situation around, you can sit there and you can complain and you can um, say all the negative things and think negative and be like, I can't do this. It's too hard. Or you can just get through it, put on a positive, like put on a happy face, think positive and just be like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I've committed to do this. I love myself enough to keep doing this and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to get through this positively feeling good versus feeling like crap. Because I'm going to tell you what, had I gone through this workout with that nasty attitude, I would have been miserable the whole entire workout. But after I reflected and stopped complaining, I enjoyed the workout and I felt better. So that will do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I also hope that you guys enjoyed the little clips that I put for the Chloe Ting workout that I did yesterday. Oh my gosh. When I tell you, I did not feel like working out. It took everything in me. And I'm going to be honest, if my son was not doing this with me, I would not have done it yesterday. I'm not going to lie. I just wouldn't have because I was done. I was so tired. It was late. It's later than I've ever worked out before. I was complaining. I was like, ugh. And within two minutes, I was like, I feel a little bit better. So it was definitely intense and I definitely had to modify like every move, but that's okay because I can't wait to see throughout the months how I progress from things that I just physically cannot do right now to be able to do them. It's going to be so amazing and so rewarding and so empowering. So I'm really excited for that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day. While I'm on the Chloe Ting challenge, I'm definitely trying to clean up my diet a little bit. And yeah, huge thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go down below in the description box and click the link and you can save 10% off of your order. I love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one.